Okay, today I'm going to show you how to use Jozu Express, the Google Doc add-on to make feedback quick and easy. First thing to do is to click on to add-ons and go down to get add-ons. Click on that and it brings up the add-on store, which has a number of useful add-ons, but today we're going to be searching for Joe Zoo Express. This is it with the monkey. Click on free and it will bring up this window asking for permissions. So it will want to know who you are on Google, if you manage your documents in Google Drive, and the same with Google Classroom. So one of um, the big pulls for Jozu Express is that it integrates with Google Classroom. However, we're not going to be looking at that today. Just how to use it within Google Docs. Click on allow and it will come up with the fairly typical little working symbol and then the dialog box saying that Jozu Express has been added to your add-ons. Click on add-ons and go to open Jozu Express. Like pretty much all of our add-ons, it'll pop up on the right hand side. It does take some time to load, especially first up. If any of your students have it pop up on the right hand side and it remains white, just get them to refresh. So because I've already created an account, it's remembered me and it's welcomed welcome to me in, but you may need to add in your name and email address. So we've got three options for what we can do with this document. Our first is to give feedback, or we could grade it after we've built and edited a rubric, but I'll show you how to do that later. So we're going to give feedback to this document. I've already gone in and added some feedback, but I'm going to remove it so that I can show you how to do it from scratch. Okay, so you're going to click on to give feedback and then add feedback. So we've selected some text down here, the Australian coastline, and we're going to give some feedback on it. So this is the feedback view. And if at any time you're not sure exactly what to do, Jozu has a really handy how to built in, which you just click and it brings down this menu that tells you what to do. So to add feedback, select text, then click the add feedback button. To remove feedback in bulk, select records, then click the delete button, just like I did before. So we'll click that back up and we'll add some feedback. So there's a number of feedback categories pre-built into Jozu Express. We'll add some formatting first. So it pops up with what you selected and then a little circle that changes color depending on what category you pick and a letter indicating which category it is as well. So feedback and then there's a number of feedbacks already pre-built into the program. For example, if you select bold, it auto fills out the edit or keep our explanation and the edit or keep our how to fix up text. Depending on what you select, it'll change the text. If you click on other, you can add your own. So we might say that this is too informal. Please make your language whenever we're finished giving feedback we simply click click select feedback or say feedback and it brings up this view it gives you an overall view of the feedback per category indicated in a color wheel and then each individual feedback item so if we let select some more stuff to feedback click add feedback Select a different category. It'll populate for you and save. You'll see that your wheel will start to change to reflect the types of feedback and how much feedback you're giving on the document. We'll go ahead and add two more pieces of feedback.
and it'll give you a really good view of what your document will start to look like. Once you finish giving the feedback, all of your feedback will be displayed here in a list, which as you can, which I just showed you before, you can check the checkbox and then go up and delete it if you want to. And your overall view. When students log in to the document after you've given feedback, the first time you use Jozu Express with them, they will be prompted to install the add-on just like you did. And then they'll be able to see the feedback per category and the lists. And if they click on it, it'll take them down to where that feedback was given. They won't be able to edit the feedback. They'll just be able to see the explanation and the fix up. That's how to give feedback using Jozu Express.